So the next progression is the alternate arm and leg lift from the happy baby position. The goal here, again, we wanna maintain alignment of the head, the shoulders, the trunk and spine, and the pelvis throughout the patterns. So if you cannot maintain this alignment, stop the pattern, break it down a little slower, make, it, make the motion a little smaller, so that we maintain the proper alignment, breathing, and control throughout the pattern. So same thing, we're gonna have Sarah take a deep breath in, and then lift one leg up, and then deep breath in, lift the other leg up, and now she's gonna bring her arms up. Now, take a deep breath in, and upon exhalation, she's gonna move the opposite arm and opposite leg back as far as she can control it and bring it back. Then she's gonna alternate the opposite arm and leg and then bring it back. And the goal is to maintain proper alignment and keep that rib cage connected to the pelvis. So the rib cage and pelvis stay connected throughout the exercise. If you feel the rib cage popping up, if you feel you're straining your neck and or your low back, then this pattern is too high level and or you're compensating, reset, start again. Perform it for the required number of repetitions and then relax before you do your second set. Remember, the goal here is to develop optimal control and coordinate it with breathing and maintaining proper alignment.